when you look at how the Otters played, certainly for the first half, and a good majority of the second half, the Otters certainly played hard tonight. I think we played very well tonight. Uh, we just ran out of gas in the last 10 minutes, and, you know, we're going to have to make some changes. I don't know that we're deep enough, actually, to run as much as I would like to, and so, I, you know, I really think that we're, gonna, we're probably going to have to slow it down and try and grind it. We don't turn the ball over 10 times again tonight after having seven at halftime, so, you know, we did, a, we did an outstanding job there. Um, but we, we got tired. You know, B, B did an unbelievable job of carrying us, and I think he missed his last couple of shots because he really, we were asking a lot of him. You know, I think he played 36 minutes, uh, and, and we're, we're going to need that night in and night out. So, you know, we, I think we're going to slow down a little bit. And uh, but, but you know what? I, I, we improved. We challenged them today. And uh, like I told you, we practiced. That might have had a little something to do with it. But she goes so deep. You know, I would they play 20 guys in that, it seems like. Um, okay, same thing. But, you know, it's just one of those where they're, they're a good team. That's a good basketball team. Um, I don't know, they shot 53% last night at East Bay from three. So, you know, it's just one of those things. They're feeling really good. They're making shots, uh, and that's hard. I mean, you know, jo jo uh, Josh Jackson throws, Jordan Jackson throws one in, whatever his name. He doesn't shoot threes, and he goes one for two tonight. You know, I mean, it's, 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 but that's the problem. You know, with, with the record, teams come in here looking, hey, you know what, we're going to win this game. And, and we have, and they're confident, and we have got to do something, you know, to really come out and jump somebody. And, and just get after them and say, hey, we're here. And I, and I thought we did that. I thought we did that tonight. You know, we battle. That's a very, very physical team. And, you know, when you, you don't get enough calls and, and some of the chippy stuff they let go early, you know, it kind of snowballed on us and they shot 36 free throws, which I think was, or, I'm sorry, 31 free throws, which was ridiculous. Uh, and we only shot 16. So, you know, I had a little issue with that. But, you know, it, it is what it is. They crushed us on the glass. They got to the free throw line. They shot better than we did, and they deserve to win the game. And they out-rebounded by 14 rebounds. Is that certainly something that uh, hasn't been happening to the lot this season? No. No, we haven't been rebounding really well, and, and I'm not sure why that is. We're just, you know, I don't know if we start reading our own press clippings about being a pretty good rebounding team, and now we just think we can turn and jump, and we don't hit and battle anymore, and, you know, balls are flying out, and, you know, they, they look sometimes like Chico was sending five guys to the glass. So, you know, it's one of those, it's one of those nights where it just, I, I, you know, outcome decide. I thought we played really, really hard tonight. We, we made we made some strides tonight. Now the other starting with the starting lineup that's a little bit different than what we've seen in the past few games. Some starting with Ron Devine, along with Troy Watkins. And do, does that make a difference early in the ball game? Yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit. You know, um, Jerome was really good early. He was physical. He was rebounding. And he got kind of tired. And you know, he's been out a couple of years. And it takes you a while to get back in. Uh, get back in, but I thought he battled. You know, Troy, Troy, both of them played really well last night, and that's why they started tonight. You know, they, they, Troy was in the second, like, end of the first half, really second half. Troy was our only offense. He was the only guy that was doing anything offensively, and, you know, he just, he deserved to start, and he came out and played, and, you know, he's got a ways to go defensively and some of other stuff, but, you know, his athleticism, he can make some plays, and, and uh, you know, he's just got to put a little bit more confidence. And same with Jerron. You know, when Jerron gets tired, he, he kind of shuts down a little bit, but uh, when he's going, he's, he's pretty good. I saw the, when you get down to it, there were three backs tonight being out rebounded, being out shot, uh, uh, but down the stretch, it seemed like, uh, as you indicated, just a lack of depth, and uh, uh, she could just put that separation. What about the seven, eight, 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 eight? Yeah, yeah, you know, they're. Uh, their ability to, to run multiple guys at us, you know, their ability to switch numerous guys on the B. I, I mean, for B to have 26 points tonight was unbelievable because they really, really tried to guard him, now, and Rob, uh, he was great. Now, Rob, you and I talked great, uh, a couple of times as to who can be a team leader. Now, tonight, uh, Brandon Warden with 26 points tonight in our post-game guest. Uh, he indicates that uh, he feels that he should take the role to be the one that uh, takes charge for, for the team. Do you see that happening? Well, he's our point guard. You know, he usually likes to start with our point guard, and he's trying. You know, he's such a quiet kid. He's a great guy, but he's just such a quiet guy. It's hard for him, you know, to kind of step up sometimes and, and get on guys, and that's what he needs to do, and hopefully um, – you know, he'll continue to do that. He definitely is our leader as far as as far as how hard he plays and what he brings to the table. I mean, he, he as you see, night in and night out, he's our best player. Um, I put him up there with any one of the guards in the league. You know, we're just not winning, so I don't know how much recognition he's going to get at the end of the year. Uh, but you know, he's a phenomenal kid. 
um, on and off the floor, and then he's doing everything he can to, to keep this thing going. So. Ten and one, finish five hundred. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I, it's, that's, what, that's what we got to do. I mean, you know, we have to, we have to, to do that, and, and that's that's got to be our goal. We got to come out, we got to play, and we, we got to go hard and, and do those things. So. Last question: No, we're we're improving. We're improving in certain areas. Uh, we're not improving in enough areas. We, we try to do something a little new defensively tonight that we just put in the afternoon. That's probably bad coaching. I think it, it worked in some instances. It kind of hurt us in others. We just haven't had enough time to practice it, and we'll, we'll do that. Um, but we are. We only turn the ball over 10 times. We did a better job in the transition uh, part of the break. And so, you know, it was it, it just we just weren't deep enough tonight.